Well, congratulations, everyone, for Bingo Health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Such, such a fun movie. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with that easy question that, uh, that we all like to answer. Um, what attracted you to this project? Let's start with Adriana, because you know what? You were throughout the entire movie, and I have to admit, you're such a badass. <laughs> yes, that badass is an amazing thing, opportunity to, to, to do this. Well, the script, GG, the energy of GG, and the, the intelligence of the script. But first of all, the, the character, the, this character like this, like a superhero, like the action. Because I am a drama actress, mainly. And to have this opportunity for me, it was amazing. And joy, enjoy a lot. Excellent. Joshua, what, what brought you in? Um, and how did you want to represent the youth in, the, in this film? Well, what really attracted me was kind of what um, Adriana said. I'm a mainly like a, a drama actor. And so this is my first ever horror film. And so it was just really super... I was super excited to get started and kind of get my teeth into it. And I mean, probably the bringing the youth out of it is just making sure that I bring across the hope of what was to come in, like, you know, just make sure I represent the future and what's, I mean, what's coming in the future. And so it was honestly just, I mean, a super amazing project, Gigi, amazing director. Um, the script couldn't lay my eyes off it once I started reading it. And I mean, anybody would be a fool not to be in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, you are terrifying in this movie. I do have to admit. So, uh, so tell tell us why you wanted to do this, and how do you describe Mr. Big in your words? Um, well, first, I wanted to do it. Uh, I love horror films. I've done a few of them, and um, I love horror films that have more to them than just trying to scare you. They've got, that are smart horror films. And this really was when I first read it. And then mm -hmm. everyone involved, starting with Gigi, uh, the producers involved with it, Bloomhouse and Amazon. I mean, it just, it, it, you know, it was, it was an unusual story where the heroes are not young millennials running around, but a bunch of oldsters. In fact, I'm no spring chicken. And it was, um, you know, that that's really what appealed to me. And what, who is Mr. Big? Do I sum him up? Um, he is everything bad about us, all rolled up into one smarmy individual. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. I, I, I always debate amongst my friends because I only played bingo once or twice, and I hate that game. Do you guys enjoy bingo? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I, I played it maybe once I know the concept of it but it's not like I'm like oh yeah I need to go to bingo you know I, I gotta get, you know Thursday night gotta go go to the bingo hall and get it on no I don't play bingo but I mean it seems like a cool game I feel like all my my grandma and a lot of my other friends uh, grandmas they all like it so <laughs> <laughs> I really like to see and to play games <laughs> I'm, I really like it I enjoy this kind of a, oh my God, maybe I will win. Oh, ah, oh I lose. It, this, it, this thing is for me, very funny. <laughs> Richard, last word with you. Uh, I haven't got the bingo fever yet. Even after doing this movie, I still <laughs> haven't caught it. Yeah, uh, bingo for me right now. <laughs> that, that is terrific, that is terrific. Well, hey, if this is an enjoyable conversation, I thank you everyone uh, for a you. you know, talking to us about uh, bingo you. hell. And uh, for me, playing bingo is probably hell if I had to do it for hours. That's just true. So thank you very much. Thank you. Be careful with this. <laughs> thank you, Giggs. Thank you.